Okay, the first thing you do is turn on the apple. Um, and then you wait for it to boot up. We're running ProDOS 1, which comes with AppleSoft Basic and almost nothing else. So the first thing we want to do after it loads is press B for AppleSoft Basic, right there. Um, then you want to go to the monitor program by call, typing call negative 151. And that drops you into the monitor program, which is sort of like a fancy program that lets you load things from load things into memory and mess with the memory and stuff. Um, so then you want to go to your computer, which should be attached via the audio jack to the Apple. You want to type make send. Okay, so now it's going to wait. Um, if you look at the second line there, um, well, the second line after the compiler warnings, it's going to give you two addresses separated by two dots, and you just want to go back to your Apple and type those two memory addresses separated by two dots into the terminal, followed by an R. The R is for read. It's telling the Mac we're going. It's telling the Apple we want to put something in that that chunk of memory. Um, so then you go back to your computer and you press Enter, and it starts transmitting the data into the audio jack, through the audio jack to the Apple II. Um, so, uh, so I guess uh, important notes are that we're using CL65 version 2.14, which is not what you get if you're running, if you're like installing it via brew to the Mac, and it does make a difference. Um, so make sure that you get the version right. So this is like a crazy amount of stuff to be transmitting by audio, so we're, uh, so we're just like waiting for it to sort of all route through. Um, and then once it's done, it should beep at us. And not say error. Yeah, so if it says error and it beeps, that ob may or may not be obvious to you that it's an error, but that's definitely an error. Uh, but as you can see, it didn't actually err, so now we can actually go into the program. Um, so to do that, you type the first memory address, which in this case is 2000, and you type G for jump there. G for jump. Yes, enter. Jump starts with the G. Okay, so now we're dropped into the Lisp prompt, um, and our Lisp defines like symbols, numbers, and uh, consoles. So a symbol is like it's like preceded by a quote, and um, uh, numbers, like if you just type in it, it just returns it. Um, and cons is exactly what you'd expect if you were in any other list. Um, okay, so now function definitions are, well, you can define variables as well as function definitions. It's the same construct. Um, so that's a definition of a variable that has a value 112. And now Martin's going to define a function that does something, perhaps add them. That sounds exciting. <laughs> oh no. Damn it. Okay. Don't make errors because you can't go, you, there's no backspace. Oh, I've there. never seen this error before. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, Martin explaining the nature of complexity in code in projects. Um, okay, so that's a function that we'll add it twice. Um, Great, okay, so as we can see, that's the right result, which is good. Um, excellent, okay. So if you want to do this with your own computer and your own Apple, this is all distributed via the MIT license and it's up on GitHub. It's very easy to use, or well, we think it's easy. Um, and uh, yeah, okay, great, thanks.